This is A game. Fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects. Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimson Knights, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, femininity coach and author, The Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So today, I've got a little bit of commentary on something that has been really blowing up in the manosphere, which is a discussion between Pearl of Just Pearly Things, shout out to Pearl, and the brother Hafiz from The Roommates, okay? And he's had two discussions recently, one with Pearl and the other one with Coach Greg Adams, shout out to Coach Greg Adams. Um, but the one that I have a little a commentary for today is part of the conversation that he had with just pearly things. And this has kind of been cropping up the last few days. And I think that it bears some commentary. It bears being spoken upon as being a woman, a female content creator in what we call the black manosphere or the red pill space. Okay. And this is a sentiment not only that was expressed by Hafiz in the clip that I'm going to share with you, but also it was expressed by um, a young man, Alan, from the channel We Need to Talk, as he was giving his critique and his assessment on Chantel Simone's channel and what he thought of it, which he basically echoed that sentiment that uh, red pill women content creators in this space were pandering to the men. And even my sister, Danica Marie, sort of, you know, spoke a little bit on a similar thing as she noticed that there were more comments and things of that nature that was sort of questioning the authenticity of her message and her channel. And I think that this is something that just needs to a discussion. It warrants a discussion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a couple of minutes of the um, clip from the discussion between just pearly things and Hafiz. And so that because I don't want to paraphrase it, I just want you to hear it. Now, I may skip forward a little bit because it's about five minutes, but everything in it isn't necessarily the meat of it. So I want to get to the meat of it. So without further ado, let me go ahead and I'm going to share my screen here and then we're going to be able to take a look at it. So here we go. I have a lot of time today because I, I really want to I want to dive into everything yeah. that you want to go to. Yeah. Here is I'm gonna be honest with you. Bro. Uh -huh. Here is my my only criticism of uh -huh. female content creators such as yourself. OK, if I'm being 100 percent honest uh -huh. with you, I don't want to ever say anything behind your back, which I won't say to your face. Mm -hmm. I feel like you guys are pandering. I feel like you guys are pandering okay. to a certain community of men who freaking like it's like it's it's, it's Pornhub, OnlyFans, uh -huh. Red Pill female content creators are all that that, that gets oh, wow. that gets them going. Oh, wow. That gets them excited, right? So so I personally on, really on the same OnlyFans. No, no, I didn't I say. Like I, so right here, I'm gonna skip a little bit, um, uh, just a little bit forward, so you guys can sort of hear other things that he said that I think is important. So I'm just gonna skip just a little bit. So here we go. That yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. If I said you are pandering, uh -huh. I was wrong. Okay. I feel like at times content creators, I didn't say you, oh, okay. content creators okay. like those yeah. pander. Well, there's only a couple in the space, in the red pill space that are women, I Okay, would say, so, so it's not about it's not about red pill though. Yeah, yeah, it's not no, about no, pill. okay, okay. So. It's so, so to me, let me give you an example. Let okay. me give you an example. Okay. I genuinely believe uh -huh. that there is a lot of nuance to your ideas. Uh -huh. I genuinely do not believe you share all your nuance online. Uh -huh. I genuinely believe you're an extremely smart content creator. Mm -hmm. I genuinely believe mm -hmm. you understand what gets clicks, views, X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. I genuinely believe that you're an individual mm -hmm. who's very calculating what you say uh -huh. and what you do. So therefore, I was, I was coached by you. Listen, 
That's why I'm, that's why it breaks my heart. It breaks my it breaks heart. It breaks your heart. It really does. I'm not gonna uh, lie to you. Why? It, because first you were, first yeah. we had an A session. You weren't coached by me. I know. I know. We had I'm, A I'm session. Just, so I can't put my stamp on that. I, I can't put my stamp on that. We having fun. We just having fun, right? So, so uh -huh. my my belief is that deep down inside, I feel like you're a woman. Uh huh. How in the world do you believe everything a man believes? You should have nuanced positions. That's uh -huh. the beauty of the masculine feminine. Uh -huh. Where you where there's similarities and there's differences. So uh -huh. when I hear a, a logical woman, I definitely expect to hear her to communicate things that the logical male and female understands. Mm -hmm. But I also expect because she's a feminine individual uh -huh. and you believe men and women are different. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if men and women are different mm -hmm. and both of them are communicating their ideas, there's going to be differences uh -huh. and nuances to their ideas now let me stop sharing and let me come back because he said the word pander and then he sort of backtracked a little bit and said well you know because what she ended up saying was so what you're telling me is that you don't think I actually believe the things that I said right um, when we talk about the definition of pandering one of the definitions of pandering is to provide gratification for others' desires. The other definition of the word pander is someone who caters to or exploits the weaknesses of others. Okay. Um, let me first start out by saying, as a woman who has been a content creator in the red pill space for the entire time that I have been on YouTube, I get it, right? I get black men being apprehensive, being skeptical, and even to a certain extent being suspicious of particularly a black woman who enters into the space and seems to actually understand and agree with the concerns that he expresses, when he expresses what his needs are, when he expresses how he's been marginalized or ignored or the trials and tribulations that he's gone through as a black man in this country, a black man in the so-called community, a black man in his marriages and relationships, a black man as a father, a black man, you know, just in every aspect of his living in this country, he has had to face so many different challenges. Um, and then to hear a black woman come along and basically echo those sentiments in a way that says she understands what he's going through. And not only does she understand that from a distance, she like empathizes with it because we can never experience it, right? No matter how much we empathize with what black men go through, I have not spent a day as a black man. So I can't say exactly, oh, I know exactly how they feel and exactly what they think. Because that would be disingenuous, right? But I definitely, as a black woman, as a lioness, support and empathize with what my brothers go through, right? And... So with that being said, here on this channel, and I can't speak for other people's channels, right? But here on the Crimson Cure channel, I make it a point to say that we are speaking to women, right? We're taking these concerns that Black men have expressed for years now, and we are opening up the conversation to women and speaking to women. And I make a point of saying that because I'm a woman. And as such, I never put my myself in a position or attempt to be in a position where I'm instructing men, right? We don't instruct the men on what to do. The men aren't taking instruction from me. I'm not their leader. I'm not, I'm not in charge of them. The men are capable of problem solving for themselves. As a lioness, as a woman, what we do here is we support what men are doing. We support the solutions that they are coming up with 
in order to address all of these issues that they face and have faced for a very long time. So when we speak here on this channel, we're taking the concerns of men and we are addressing women with them, right? And it isn't just to sort of echo and repeat and parrot because the men do a perfectly good job of saying what they are going through and what they want and what they need. And they don't need a mouthpiece to talk to other men about it. They're perfectly fine. But when we talk about women, women are necessary to say these things to other women because that's actually one of the things that's been missing in our community is women being and putting themselves in a position to check other women, right? Check other women. But we don't come up with our own program to, to do that. And here's what I mean. There is a retraining, an unlearning and a learning that women have to actually undergo in order to even begin to renew or to approach renewing the social contract. And the reason being is because they have been trained to ignore completely men's concerns, ignore men's needs, ignore men's wants, ignore men's desires, and to only hyper-focus on their needs, concerns, and desires as women. This is what women learn. This is a part, a large part of what Feminism actually teaches women in that be it to make women completely self-absorbed and completely selfish to and to exclude men, right? And even in their train of thought. So because of that, women have a very difficult time even understanding the basic expression of male need. So when men even attempt to have that conversation with women and saying, you know what? This is what we want. This is what we need. These are the things that we've been going through as a group of men. And you know, it would be not mighty nice if we had A, B, and C from you. Or at least stop hindering us by doing A, B, and C, right? Because if we are saying that women were responsible for breaking the social contract, and they were, then Black women are also responsible for fixing it but they can't just come back as is, okay? Can't happen. There's gotta be a reconditioning that has to happen at this point because the social contract got broken for a reason, okay? Got broken for a reason. So when you have black women who are saying, you know what? We're the good black women. We're the lionesses of our community. And it's high time that we actually put our voices into this and roll up our sleeves and put our hands into this in order to fix it. What we say aligns with what men are saying because it has to. Because we can't make up, we as lionesses can't make up our own concerns to give to women because then it wouldn't reflect what the men are saying. And the reason why that's so important is because the men's concerns, needs have to actually be prioritized. And I spoke about that before. They actually have to be prioritized. And here on this channel, I'm speaking for this channel specifically again, we are translating and breaking down what the men are saying to give it to women in a way that women are going to or it's possible for them to accept by appealing to her emotion before we can affect her logic okay this message is going to be avoided largely by the large sector of women okay because we're talking about what the men are saying the reason why men, channels such as mine, have a large male following 
is because the men are refreshed to hear a woman actually say this stuff. Why? Because the women need to be on that same page with the men. That's the purpose of women. The purpose of women is men. So if the men are on a particular page, the women need to get on that page. Because that's been the whole problem anyway. And so when we have female red pill content creators, we're not only saying what the men are saying and in support of that, we're also talking about, especially on this channel, we're also breaking down why the women have been wrong to the women. Because modern women or today's women think that they won with feminism. It's our job as lionesses to tell them, no, you lost. And this is why you lost. This is why this isn't a W. This is an L all day. Why did you take that L? Why is it an L? Look at your circumstances. Did you win anything? Did you come out on top? No, you did not. Because for all of that jibber jabber that you were talking, you end up at places in your life where you really got to backtrack all of that. All the talking about how you don't need men and you know what I'm saying? And all of that, you get older and then you have to backtrack stuff like this. I said, as long as you got your own house, as long as you got your own transportation, and as long as you got your own income, it don't matter what a ninja got to say. See, you get older and you have to backtrack that. We're trying to get women to understand why it was an L in the first place. Because if women can't get that, then they'll never be able to actually empathize or understand or support why the men need support or why the men are saying what they're saying about it. No matter how logically the men are explaining it, doesn't matter how logically they're doing it. Right? So we're the ones that actually have to say it loudly to the other women. We had we as women have to say it to the women. We have to say it to women. Right? Because this is this is where the changes are going to start taking place. The men already understand what's going on. It's the women who are lost in the wilderness. Some of them because they ignorant, some of them because they want to be lost. Okay? So we actually have to spread the message. Women that support what the men have say and agree with it and are willing to spread the message to other women are actually doing what women should do. Like I said before, getting on the same page as the men. And the reason why this is so incredibly important and vital. It's because men are the priority, no matter what feminism has ever told anybody. Men are the priority in a family. They're the priority in the community. They're the priority in the society at large. So therefore, when his needs are being neglected, ignored, maligned, overlooked, you know, marginalized, whatever the case may be, and it's gotten to this point where we are at the verge of societal decay, then all hands on deck at this point. We're at the point where all hands got to be on deck now, right? And all attention must be paid to him exclusively to make sure that he's taken care of, that we walk back all of this foolishness, okay? And part of that problem has been the silence of so-called good women. And I've spoken to that before because that has contributed to the issue as well. Because a lot of times what's the saying? Silence is agreement. Silence is agreement. So a lioness can no longer afford to be silent about the condition of black men if she says she cares about him and if she says she love him and if she says she support him and she's interested in the rectification 
of the community and not just sitting back thinking that that means he got to do all the work. No, the women have to do the work. Because like I said before, it was the women who broke the social contract. So it's got to be the women that come back to it. But they can't come back to it with the stupidity and the foolishness in their head. They got to re retrain that. Yeah, got to redo that. That's a remix right there. You can't just come back. Yo, you in a lost value system. You just can't come back. It's broken because of the mentality and the mindset that a lot that these black women have. That's why it's broken. So we got to speak to that. That has to get spoken to. And it takes women to talk to other women about it. And it's not going to be a popular subject. So when we start talking about the concerns of men, we're not going to get this influx of thousands and thousands and thousands of women begging to hear that message because it grates against everything that they think they know. So I just wanted to sort of give my perspective on that. Um, in any case, I also want to draw everybody's attention to the Petition we have going against Black Lives Matter. We have crossed the 9,000 signature threshold and I can't be happier about that. If you want to also be a part of holding Black Lives Matter accountable for their more than $100 million theft, please go into the description box, hit the link for the petition, sign, share, and contribute. Also jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host, The Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonite. Hey, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you've got more to say on the topic, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production and I'll catch you guys on the next one.